Hello, it's Tilly Tilly, and we have silver on the table, everybody. I went to my local coin shop, one of them, and I just wanted to see what they had. I haven't been there in a while. So I stopped in and I asked what they had for gold. And he goes, We have some bars, maple, American Eagle. And I was like, Okay, well, what size? One ounce. And I was like, Okay, I'll be back. Not today. And then I looked down and saw these beauties look at that that li that liberty is amazing and i love the detail the sword holding the flagpole the flag waving behind her with her hair also and the detail even like with the um i don't know what you want to call it, sleeve like falling off because the wind is so strong that's just what what it appears to be and the eagle that's on top of the flagpole. It got me trust. It all, it's so beautiful. And it's not the first time I have actually seen this design. What is that? What is on me? <laughs> the, I, I apologize for the delay, everybody. I have a lint roller here. And it's like the vicious beast is shutting like a dog. <laughs> all right. Nobody wants to see beast hair. That's better. All right. So, yeah. I Not the first time I saw this design. And I, my silver journey, he got a 10-ounce bar. He had it in one of his videos from his coin shop visit. And I loved it. I was so surprised to see it in the round. So I had to pick him up. I took what they had. They... Guys, how many they had? <laughs> they only had 17. So, I mean, you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to look, kind of see, like, which one is the best, in my opinion, put in a capsule, and then my tube will have 16. I'm not worried about it. I'll find those four somewhere else someday, and it will be full. But I was just happy to be able to purchase these because I've actually been – admiring them ever since i've seen that 10 ounce bar and it's exciting to have a one ounce round all right so what else did i do today i went to the bank and not a traditional bank i would normally go to i went to a location i've never been to before and i dropped off my half dollars that i had coin rolls searched i did not find any silver but that's okay i'm not worried about it i did find one that was off centered. Well, I have them here. The, the rim is a little off center, nothing crazy. But I did find two that were not intended for circulation. This is one, this is Philadelphia. The other one is a Denver. It's not in my possession right now. Well, it's just not me. It's still in the building, everybody. All right. So, yeah, my bank visit. Let me talk about that. <laughs> new bank never been there before i took the half dollar boxes and since i had kept three of the halves i ended up having um, some loose half dollars that i also had to deposit and yeah one of them was really beat up it was ugly i did not wrap it up i guess i wasn't really thinking that i should didn't cross my mind that would be a problem but let's give a scenario here you have a dollar bill it gets damaged it gets ripped torn as long as you have more than half of it and technically it should be 50 percent or more but as long as you have that much and it's not a counterfeit bill the bank should honor it no questions asked and take it out of circulation and replace it with the another dollar bill well I guess it's different for coins. Unless it was just this location, I had a beat up JFK. You could tell it was outside. It's been run over by who knows what. It was um, textured. You could barely see what it was, but you could still see the outline of JFK's portrait. And considering I am bringing back $500 almost of half dollars, you know that it's the proper size. Well, 
that one coin was a little bit of an ordeal because they had to ask if it was acceptable to take, to deposit. And I just sat there. Well, I didn't sit. I was standing. I, so I just stood there and I was listening and I was in awe. Like, why is this happening? I, I know if I went to like a, my normal drop-off bank, it would never even have happened. I don't know if that's because they know who I am, but it, regardless, if you're at a bank, if you have a coin that's almost unrecognizable, but you know what it is because I'm returning, you know, $500 worth of the same coin, your service, isn't it to take it and remove it from circulation? If it's that bad, if you're not going to do it, who is? So I just, I couldn't believe it. Had to ask for permission to take a beat up coin that you could still, you know, tell what it was considering everything I had with it. It was just, wow. They did take it. <laughs> if they didn't take it, I would really question that location. And I would actually be doing more research on it, which I am intrigued to know if anything has changed because isn't it's just, it rubbed me the wrong way and it really kind of upset me. Like, you're the bank. There's nothing wrong with this coin <laughs> other than it's damaged. Remove it from my possession, remove it from circulation, and let it be. Don't make a bigger deal about it. Like, oh my God, look at this. Or should we take it? Can we take it? And then get like three people involved. Three people do not have to be involved if a coin is that damaged, I, I was, hmm. okay, that's my rant on the bank. <laughs> so, uh, I, that was interesting. That was my day. <laughs> I hope everybody else had a wonderful day, a, a wonderful evening, no matter where you are and when you're watching. Thank you. Bye everybody.